We're now joined by Anne Chan from the Centre for Clean Air Policy. She's the California Programs Director. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what brings you to the summit? Um, I work for a DC-based nonprofit independent think tank, and we work at the state, regional, national, and international levels. So we have a great interest in the work that the state of California is doing to help support national and international efforts around climate change. Wonderful. What do you hope will be accomplished from this summit? We hope that this summit will put some positive momentum behind the international negotiations that are currently ongoing and leading up to Copenhagen. Wonderful. Now tell me a bit about um, the Centre for Clean Air Policy. What initiatives are you currently working on? We work on a variety of domestic and international climate policies. We work in transportation, adaptation. We also work on sectoral approaches in the international arena. Can you give me a bit more detail about one of the programs, possibly one close to home in California? Sure. Um, I personally work on forest climate issues in California. Um, the state of California has adopted a target for the forest sector, which is very innovative, and I'm working with the state of California to figure out how that will be implemented. Any particular challenges you're facing on that initiative or in general trying to push forward combating climate change? Absolutely. Um, one of the great problems around climate change is getting data to support policies and California is definitely on the forefront with that around forestry but there's still more that needs to be done and so we're looking for ways to accomplish that. Right. I mean there seem to be plenty of facts and figures out there for my liking but there still are some non-believers. Any words you want to say to those people? Um, I think that the scientific community has reached a point of consensus now where we believe that um, human change, uh, human cause, climate change is real and that we need to address that problem, otherwise we will be looking at um, very rapid changes that societies will not be able to adapt to quickly enough. I mean there's many factors that go into combating climate change, what do you think is the single most important one? an interesting question. Um, I really think it's a myriad of factors. Um, I think all people and all sectors really have a role to play. Um, we like to ask people to ask the climate question in their everyday lives um, and we think that all sectors do have a role to play. Okay, <laughs> everyone must go and play their part. Anne Chan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks.